You're watching The View on KNTV 11. I don't suppose I could take this thing off now, could I? I don't know, Mac. What do you think? Oh, I was enjoying keeping him in the dark. Ah, oh, what the heck? Go ahead. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Party? I guess I have to be. <laughs> Say goodbye to the bachelor days. Can't do that very often. Let's hope I just do it once. <laughs> <laughs> Are they having a sale at Wyndham's that I don't know about? As your bridesmaid, I should have thrown you a shower, but, well, consider it this. It, okay? Oh, gee. You didn't have to do this. Are you kidding me? A bride deserves lots and lots of gifts. Here. Open this one first. Oh. Oh, I bet I know what this is. Oh, this is so exciting. <gasps> oh. He oh. Uh, hello. Yeah. And look at this. Uh -huh. <laughs> For the honeymoon. I kind of figured, yeah, it's Kevin's favorite color. Sheer. Okay, you could open the rest while we get ready. For what? It is girls' night out. Now, I haven't decided exactly where wait, yet. Wait, 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 wait. You don't know where? I know where. I know the perfect place. Girl, we are going to rock. Let's do it. All right. You're sure she's not in her room? You've checked all the common areas? Okay. Yeah, fine. We'll just keep keep looking, and I'll do what I can from this end. Oh, Dr. Locke, I'm glad I found you. Dr. Baldwin needs you for a consult. Um, well, you're going to have to tell her I'm very sorry, but um, I have an emergency with a patient. Okay. I guess I'll have to find someone else. Maybe Dr. Collins. Oh, no, that's right. Tonight's his bachelor party. Here we go. Hey, BJ, Lucy here, and uh, I brought Christina. I uh, just wanted to come say hi, you know? I mean, I realize that you're in a, a beautiful place where innocent children go when they leave this world. But I just miss you. I can't figure out why, you know, because every year I keep thinking it's going to get easier. It's supposed to, you know. Maybe it's just because you were the light of our lives, so wonderful. And, and then you just suddenly weren't there anymore. And when you left, you took a great big piece of my heart. I thought I was going to die. And I cannot go through that again. You know, I, I know I would die. Yeah, I would. If I had to go through that again, I would. I just would. So, what did Martin say? Judge Friedel agreed to meet with him tonight. Well, that's great. I, you know, I, I just know that she's going to rule that the, you know, the deal I made with DV is grounds to have her adoption reviewed and set aside. If you're waiting for me to thank you... Julie, wait, wait, come on now. I know you're upset with me. I should have told you a lot sooner what happened, but... Well, th that you sold me out? Now, I have been by your side through everything. The fight to get you acquitted, the fight to get Christina back. I mean, doesn't that tell you anything at all? All it tells me is that you didn't have a better offer. Uh -huh. Please! Please! I never figured you for a Johnny Lala's type of gal. Well, I, I've been known to, uh, to belt out a karaoke tune or, or two in my time. I'll take a wild guess. Are you here to, to find me? Yeah, I am. I, I wasn't invited to the wedding, but I did want to wish you the best. Uh-huh. I really hope you, 
You have all the happiness that you deserve. Good night. I am convinced Julie didn't send Lucy that death threat. Well, who else would be sending her death threats, Mac? I think you should talk to Lucy. Hey. Frank, hi. I, uh, I wasn't expecting you. Is that a bad time? Well, I don't know. She's telling you that we're just going to help Serena with her homework. Well, this will take long. Oh, okay. Well, please, come in. You know, um... Scott's not here right now. Well, actually, I, uh, I came to see Christina. Oh, I see. Like, I never had a chance to thank you for, for taking such good care of her. Well, I, yeah, that's what mommies do. Can I hold her? Well, um, sure, of course. Here, sweet pea. Say howdy. Hey. Say, say howdy. Look at that face. Yeah, she's um, she's a happy little girl, you know. She's she's always comfortable with people, e e even strangers. I, I didn't uh, mean to have it come out like that. It's okay. What what happened to her forehead? Oh, it, it's okay. Uh, she just yeah, uh, crawled and a lamp fell. You know, Karen was babysitting. Of course, we never would have allowed Karen to babysit it. Scott and I had known she was back on pills. Karen's back on pills. We, we really wouldn't leave Christina with Karen until she gets all better. Mom? Hey, you. Hey, Serena. Hey, you know what? Neil has been asking if you can come over to our place. Um, sure. <laughs> Mom, is this okay? Well, uh, I'll have him give you a call, okay? Okay. Well, you know, I really, okay. I, I really should get going. Um, I have uh, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kevin's bachelor party. I really do appreciate everything that you've done. Well, I would do anything and everything to keep her safe and happy. Okay. Okay, uh, thanks for coming by and, and have fun tonight at the party. Thank you. Okay. Those satin sheets you got us are amazing. Well, I thought they'd be a little more practical than a toaster oven. Oh, yes, and much more useful, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, look, we forgot one. Uh, it's not for me. Really? Huh. Launcher D. Ooh. Hmm. Oh, I know. I'll bet Kevin left it. Oh. Oh, oh look wow. at it. It's beautiful. You know, you are so lucky to be marrying such a romantic guy. Oh, I'm the luckiest girl in the whole world. Mm. I'm sorry. Oh. You know what, though? I think I'm going to save it. Okay. And wear it on our honeymoon. Yep. Good idea. Good idea. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Okay. So this is where you and Kevin had your first date? All right, call me sentimental, but there is no other place I would rather be than right here tonight. Oh, oh you're not the only one. Oh, my gosh, maybe we should go someplace else. Hey, 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 we got a couple of party crashers. Hello! Wait a minute, what are you doing? Come to check up on the husband-to-be? I didn't know you would be here, I swear. Well, that you are, you might as well see what we guys do with these things. Are you impressed so far? <laughs> you know, maybe we should go somewhere else. No, no, no way. There's no way I'm going to let the two most beautiful women in the place slip away on us now. Come on. Sorry, it's so late. Did, did you speak with the judge? Yeah. She agreed that Chris's deal with David Bordiso was a conspiracy to defraud you of your child. So we have grounds to contest the adoption? Yep. That's good. That's, that's very good. And it gets better. She's considering giving you visitation until the matter's settled. I don't know how things stand between the two of you, but there has to at least be the appearance that all is forgiven. Because unless we can show that Christina is coming to a home with two loving parents, we don't stand a chance. Love potion coming now. 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 Love potion
being a worse singer than even me. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. That's for the gift you left me. What gift? Oh, wow, you're a better actor than you are a singer. You guys were really groovy. Uh, groovy? What's wrong with being groovy? Nothing if you're from the 60s. Hey, Kevin, can you go get us a drink, please? Sure, how about something psychedelic? You want to you prove? You want to swim? You want a monkey? No, Victor. What? I'm not really a retro kind of girl. I'm more of a, a modern kind of girl, which is why I always pictured myself walking down the aisle um, alone. But uh, now that the big day's come, I thought it'd be really nice to have a friend by my side. Well, I think that's a wonderful idea. Really? Oh, I'm so glad you do. You mean, you, 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 you want me to do it? Oh, Victor, I see you would be groovy, baby. <laughs> I saw Christina sporting a pretty nasty bump on her head. Well, you don't have to worry. I won't be watching her again. I know what it's like to be hooked. It can get pretty lonely out there. And you were one of the few friends who hung in there with me. And I haven't forgotten that. Well, thanks for understanding. You say we crunch something from Sinatra to the love birds. Ooh. Hi. Actually, I think it's time that we hit the road. No, no, not yet. Well, listen, you deserve to have a beautiful bride, and I'm going to make sure that you have that. So, we got to go. You'd be beautiful no matter what you do. Mm -hmm. oh. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, bye. Wait. Thank you. Hi. Uh, I'm sure I'm surprised I didn't think you'd be back this early from the bachelor party. Well, the party is uh, going... Strong, I just wasn't in the mood. But you just think you wanted to come home and spend a little quality family time, maybe? Well, I wanted to tell you that I'm going to take Claire Wright's case. You're going to do what you're going to do, aren't you? That doesn't mean that I'm not going to be here for you and for the girls. Today was the anniversary of BJ's death. Why didn't you tell me? Didn't think I had to. You know, I usually don't have to say things with words and you know what's going on inside of me. I mean, used to be. Lately, I don't know what's going on. It doesn't seem like we're connecting here at all. I guess that's why you didn't tell me the truth about the death threat. What do you mean? You sent it to yourself. Yeah! Don't go, Just being this cleaning up. <laughs> I think it's time for me to call it a night. Me too. After you get out of the car, garbage out inside. Add some dessert. Or you don't go out the Oh, no. And for he's a jolly good fellow. For he's a jolly good fellow. Thank you. For he's a jolly good fellow. With your wedding candy night. Hey. still think she's alive somewhere, don't you? Well, maybe she is gone for good. But will she be found alive? She's still unidentified. We should discover who she belongs to soon, I hope. Doctor, do you think maybe I could help her? No. No. Emmy nominated One Life to Live, ABC Daytime. I'm due back at the hospital. Fine. Well, maybe we could meet at the recovery room later, get some I breakfast. I want to be available in case Martin calls. He may want to schedule Christina's visitation. 
Fine. So, I'll see you tomorrow? I sent the death threat to myself because I didn't think I had any choice. Lucy had a choice. You could have trusted me to fix it. But I trusted you with the adoption. I know you think I screwed that up. Okay, I do. I don't want to think that, but Scott, I do. I can't help it. Oh, pal, what, what are we doing? How did we end up here? I don't know, Lucy, but we're headed down a dead-end road if we don't do something about this. Please, let's not let that happen, please. Hey. Oh, Scott. Lee, what? Why are you here? What's wrong? Now, some new information has come to light. Chris told D.V. Bordiso that Julie was Christina's mother right in the beginning. Why? Why? To get the reward money out of the idiot. Oh, wait a minute. Bordiso did tell me when he was in the hospital that he knew who Christina's mother was. I thought he was lying. I thought he was bluffing. And now, since Julie uh, didn't know about this deal between Chris and Bordiso, her lawyers are claiming that they conspired to prevent her from coming forward. He'll claim that Julie was defrauded, which will make the adoption invalid. Right, because it's just a lie, right? I'm afraid I mean, that's Chris not all. Did this horrible lie. Chris's bank account shows that there was a deposit in the exact amount of the reward. Just when we thought we won something. The judge is considering granting Julie visitation rights. Listen, I've had enough excitement for one night. Yeah. It couldn't have been easy seeing Joe and Jill together. Are you going to be okay? It's not your problem, especially the night before your wedding. Yeah. Okay. Uh... Oh, look at this. <gasps> wow. These are beautiful. Wow. Oh, I'll bet Kevin left them while we were out. <sighs> Wait a minute. How could Kevin leave them... When we were out, when we were all partying together. You know, I bet he had Mary drop them off. There you go. Uh -huh. You're probably right. <laughs> oh, they're gorgeous. They smell so good. You know what I think? Mm. I think you should take these to your bedroom and you should get some sleep. You're probably right. Thank you, Karen, for everything. Oh, my pleasure. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, get some sleep. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Ugh. I want to report a missing person. It's a woman. I thought you'd be upstairs asleep by now. Oh, yeah, I should be. But I had the strange feeling that someone was watching me. It must have been your powerful presence. What are you doing here? I guess I just needed to be near you. Is everything okay? It is now. Think about it. In just a couple more hours, we're going to be down here committing our entire lives to each other. Of all of our friends. Jitters. 
No, not a one. What about you? I have a few, but mostly about the wedding. You know, when I think about what tomorrow's really all about, our love, I know that nothing can possibly go wrong. Stay tuned for scenes from the next Port Charles. On the next Port Charles. Whatever it takes, as long as it takes, I'm there for you. Has the cake arrived yet? I have personally taken care of that for you. Hey, Christina. Do you remember me? I'm your brother. Visit the official site of the Daytime Emmys at abc.com. Part of the Go Network.